<laughs> so this is gonna hurt somebody's feelings it's gonna hurt it may hurt the black community as a whole the statement i'm about to make but it must be said it must be said because well a lot of reasons but set it off the movie yeah that movie ain't shit and i'm gonna explain why as quickly as possible the premise to this movie is the, the plot to this movie is four women in the hood who uh, rob banks. That's it. But I feel like the real reason for this movie was two reasons. To show black trauma just pound us with just PTSD and to have white people say, see, that's why. Mm -hmm. Number one, all of the black male characters uh, are shitty. Okay, they all, they're all portrayed negatively or in pain or killed or toxic. And yeah, let's, let's go through them. Number one, first, first, first opening scene is <laughs> three black men, maskless, face out, looking highly suspicious at a bank that they're robbing. Not just right off that, by the way, they they all they all all get well two of them get shot. And one of them gets shot near, but he he get he flee he gets away. But later on, maybe thirty five minutes of the movie, he is also shot to death in his own apartment. Mm. Okay. Uh next we have the uh the little brother that can make it out. He can, he can make it out. We got high hopes for him. Well, see, he dies. Yeah, he's shot to death. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Yeah, he's shot to death on the street. And to absolve themselves of white guilt, uh, post-mortem, they said, go ahead and give me a rundown, a background on this little brother, hoping that he had something in his background that they could, you know, make themselves feel better as to why they shot him dead in the street and you know. Get out of the ground! Get out now! Get out! Oh, get out of the ground! Get out! 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 Get We got their boss. Yeah, the girl's boss. Because they work for a cleaning service. Luther. <laughs> he ain't shit. First thing he... First time we see him, he walks out of a, a van. He steps out of a van and calls them all bitches. And it, we see him in a total of four shots in the movie. And one of them, <laughs> he ends up being shot. Dead. Okay, uh, let's not forget about, now everyone's like, well, what up? <laughs> what about, um, little, little, little Jay's little, little boo, you know? Well, well, yeah. Cena, arguably, he was, he was a good little brother. Except for the, the, the not goodness. And we all try. All brothers be trying, you know, but, but the only good one in the movie is also still, you know, that's that toxicness that's in there. Every, every time he talks to Jada in the movie, he tells her how beautiful she is, which is true. She is beautiful, but it is also to kind of shut down anything she's saying. Mm. He says, gosh, beautiful. And then says something to uh, either, you know, underhandedly, you know, take a shot at what she said, laugh at her, tell her that the people that are working below him, because he's management, upper man, high, high upper management, is 
to tell them, you know, he don't know what they do. Like, it's, mm, mm. The, the point of his role in the movie was to get her to rise, to, to rise her up from the hood. And yeah, in pain, the baby, Jawan, yeah, the one who we never find out how he, what exactly what happened with the chemicals, uh, but he got into them in pain, taken away from his mother, just ripped from her arms. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, let's, the usury ass nigga. Mmm, mmm. He comes. He comes straight through the hood. You think you have hopes that maybe he about to give these sisters a little pep talk, you know, you know, like he a pillar in the community. No, no, that, that dream is shattered within 30 seconds. And he's just wanting to sleep with Jada's character. Of what she does for money. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's... That's not even, that's not even the root, the depthness. Every step of the way, we are bombarded with pain, misery, suffering, sadness, and it all gets us ready to be absolutely on board with them robbing the bank. We, we, we are, by the, after Stevie's shot, uh, we are, we have been, everything is removed from any doubt we had that it was wrong for them to rob the bank. It is completely gone gone and at the end of the movie everyone dies everyone dies and, uh, except for except for one Jada's character uh she does not die but she is saved yes there's a white savior the whole time the white cop that's chasing them through the entire movie is suddenly turned into the white savior at the end of it lovely lovely uh, because he could have just stopped the bus because Jada was on the bus <sighs> and uh, and just turned and just got her ass but he was like no I killed your brother so and all of your friends are dead so go ahead and, and be free <laughs> that that's that's the end of the movie yeah hey, Wait! Wait, Francesca! Frankie! Listen to me. I'm taking it off here. I'm not carrying. Okay? Okay? that came out in 1996 that are ugh, black movies black uh set it off wow okay a thin line between love and hate okay get on the bus that okay the preacher's wife okay eh. christianness like all almost every black movie has it's either you know christian dogma you know, the zealotness of Christianity. Uh, something in the hood of which you're doing a whole bunch of bullshit. There's no real in between those two. Uh, you know, let's see, Don't Be a Menace, which is a spoof movie. Okay. Uh, and then Fat Beach. I didn't even know that one. But I do remember being a young child, and this is gonna tell my age, uh, going to Blockbuster and seeing the cover to that movie, which I'm pretty sure I have seen, you know, little snippet pieces of. Wow, it's, it's, it's 
really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. But those are the black movies that came out in 1996. You know, there's probably some I'm missing, but those are probably the main ones. Yeah, and they are all, wow, they're all terrible. And I can explain so much in depth as to why. And if you want to hear that, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you really want me to deep, deep dive into the extraness as to why I said it off any shit. Whether or not you comment or not, I'm probably going to post it next week anyway. But I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the, the thought that you should still comment. So, so do it anyway. What happened to her? Drive this motherfucker. She gonna be alright. Frankie, listen to me. I need you to drive this car really fast and get us to the hospital, okay? Go! This motherfucker's not gonna make it. We gotta switch cars. All right, would you do what you gotta do? Listen to me. Uh, you listen to me, okay? Uh -huh. You are gonna make it through this. You understand me? Okay. All right? It hey. doesn't hurt. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? You okay?